Well, what's up guys? So I just got here to camp and it is dumping rain. Today's plan was to go motorcycle camping, but it's rained the entire day. I waited till basically the end of the day to see if I could, you know, get the storms to blow over. Uh, but that did not happen. Let's see, I don't even know what time it is right now. 5.41, it's still dumping. Uh, we've gotten some pretty, pretty good thunder and lightning today. But other than that, just dumping rain all day long. Uh, the other thing about today is it is cold. Just the other day, it was 95 degrees. And today, it's 46 right now. Not going to get any warmer. Actually, don't think it's supposed to get any cooler. Maybe a low of 45 tonight. So it's a stable temperature, but it is cold. Uh, so I grabbed my sleeping bag. I still have my sheet and my blanket in here. So I like to unzip and throw this over the top. I usually leave that closed up, but this gives me a big, comfortable blanket to use. Try to get my other one kind of inside of it. And it is just raining like crazy out there. Didn't really need to bring the hat back here because I don't plan to wear it. Can you hear it raining? I'm actually going to change. I brought some pajama pants. We're going to hang out and watch a movie and let me get this window here cracked. Should be able to open up this capside window without it dripping in. You can usually keep that open. I won't have it open super far, but at least get some airflow in here. I don't know if I'll turn the fan on or not. That's about it, guys. I don't really have anything else I need to set up. I think uh, before I cook dinner, I'm going to go ahead and watch a movie. Just enjoy the view. Have myself a bit of a drink. Got a couple beers with me, but I'm gonna start with the Twisted TA. I like these things for a relaxing evening. And where does my, oh, here it is. Tablet, I dropped this thing on the way out to the truck today. And thankfully I did not break it, but I broke the corner off the case. So, it's not like this, this isn't a rugged case by any means, just some random thing off Amazon. Just wanted something that you could stand it up, you know? Well, I don't know what to watch. I've got a bunch of crap downloaded. Find something funny, I feel like. You feel like you have a ton, and then you get out here and you look, and you're like, eh, ain't that many. We're gonna go ahead and watch The Green Hornet. I've seen it already, but it's pretty funny. <laughs> I gotta go all the way back, because I've already watched it. Uh, there we go, guys. I'm going to watch this and I'm going to hang out for a bit and just enjoy the weather. And then once this is over, we'll get to cooking dinner. So stay tuned guys. See if this rain lets up. I do have a bundle of firewood with me. I guess I could, but I don't think that's going to happen before it gets dark. So the fact that you assume that you can open this establishment without my permission, without payment and some of the addicts out of it, is completely unacceptable. Really, I have to be honest, quite insulting. Therefore, you must sign over ownership of this establishment to me. Or you become my employee. Well, were, were your employees? Yeah. Or be closed on permanently. The choice is yours. Okay. Tom, so I have to tell you to stop giving us money. All right, guys. Well, it's dark. It's still sprinkling a little bit now and then. I don't think you'll be able to hear it on the roof right now. Maybe. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and get supper cooked up. I'm watching a movie. That first one I, I watched, what, what, did I, what did I watch? I'm getting messages. The Green Hornet. Now I'm watching Menace to Society. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and get supper cooked up. So before I start, I've got this window here cracked. And then this window, the capside window I've got open and I've got my fan in there and it's pulling air. It's blowing out. So I'm pulling air from this way 
out that way. But I'm gonna get the camera set up here and we're gonna get to cooking. So tonight I'm cooking, yeah. This is wrap snacks, icon ramen noodles, beef prime rib flavor. It's E40 ramen noodles. So I've never heard of this. My buddy Mike gave it to me and uh, he gave me a couple of them. I have a Master P one at home that I'll probably just put on a shelf and I'll never eat. But I figured I'd try this one tonight. So I'll go ahead and read what's on the back of this stuff here. Actually, before I read that, let me get the water going. So like I said, I have the windows cracked. Get my little Coleman thing out here. You know, it's not ideal to use this inside, but like I said, I've got the windows open. Start to rain a little bit more. That should be plenty for that. Go ahead and get this thing going. There we go. Got our water cooking. I'm gonna move this over just a little bit. Right about there. Beef prime rib E40 premium ramen noodles. And on the packaging right here, it says believe in yourself first before you believe in anyone else. And that's true. And then it's got a little bit of writing here. It says, uh, believe in your own dreams before you believe in somebody else's dreams. You smell me? Your personality and networking skills will take you a long way. Always remember, stay down until you come up. Real talk. And it's all the truth, guys. You can't rely on anybody else to get you there. You got yourself there. If you don't believe in yourself, you're not gonna get there. So, prime rib ramen. I did bring, uh, I'm not just gonna eat ramen for dinner. So I did bring this is a Southwest beef wrap. So what better to go with beef prime rib than a Southwest roast beef wrap. So this is from Casey's. It's like the stuff they have prepared there and it's ready. It's roast beef, pepper jack cheese, lettuce, tomato, and chipotle mayo. So I'll have that to go with it because just ramen noodles is, is probably not gonna be enough. Uh, it's warming it up so nice in here. If I would have been in an electric spot, I probably would have uh, packed my little heater with me. No reason not to have it. I think it's uh, probably getting close to the time where I need to start throwing that back in here. But yeah, I'm warm enough. My feet are a little chilly. But. So we'll crack this, uh, that water's starting to go. So we'll crack this thing open, I guess, and see what it smells like. Doesn't smell very different at all. Uh, than any other ramen I've had and it does have like the little vegetables and seasoning and stuff in there I don't know if you can see like the pieces of corn there it's raining again so it's probably just pretty much basic ramen just branded but it's it's cool so I think this is probably getting close to boiling pretty much might as well crack this open and take a bite of this while I'm Waiting to cook that. Alright. Is that boiling? That's boiling. Of course, as soon as I get that cracked open. I kind of don't want to leave that lid on there because it's going to get all jacked up. And I, I don't know, I'm dumb. I wouldn't mind keeping that and like sticking it on the wall somewhere. So I think I'm going to peel that off. It's ideal to leave your lid on, but... I'll stick that up on something. Might as well. Since I'm going to eat this. I don't know if I'd save the cup. I suppose I could save the cup and reseal it. Is that weird? I've been accused of worse. Alright, crack that lid off. Water is boiling nice. We'll go ahead and dump this in there and not burn ourselves. There's a, there's a line around the top, so I'm just going to go... You know, cover the noodles up. The line's like an inch above the noodles. So we'll do that number there. 
a little bit of water left. Too much to dump in there. Whew, it's warm. I'll go ahead and set it over here. And since I need a lid, I'm going to use the uh, other side of this. Except not dump things in there. Dirty old lettuce. I don't want dirty old Casey's lettuce in my E40 ramen. All right, we'll give this a, a bite and see how this is. It's pretty good. If anything, you know, it's been made for a while. It's a little soggy, I guess you could say. The wrap is moist. So I guess, let's see, what does like Wikipedia say about E40? I'll read that to you. So E40 is Earl Stevens, born November 15th, 1967, better known by his stage name E-40. He's an American rapper, songwriter, and actor. He is the founding member of the rap group The Click and the founding of Sick With It Records. He has released 28 studio albums to date, appeared on numerous movie soundtracks, and has also done guest appearances on the host of other rap albums. Initially an underground artist, his 1995 solo album, album in, ma in a major way opened him up to a wider audience. Beginning in 1998, he began collaborating with the more mainstream rappers outside the Bay Area. He rose to even higher mainstream popularity in 2006 with the single Tell Me When To Go, which was produced by Lil Jon. And I can go through and read a bunch more of that stuff. I mean, he's worked with everybody like from Tupac to Snoop Dogg. In December 2015, E40 released a line of beer called E40, available in 24 ounce can and 40 ounce glass bottles. I should see if I could try some of that. It would be nice to find. I don't know if it's still made. Okay. And for his filmography, there's some movies listed. Uh, but for television, he was on Diners, Drive-In, and Dives, Season 28, Episode 4, Playing Chicken. So if I can find that, Somewhere on YouTube. I'll link that down below also. Alright. Finish half my wrap here already. Let's see what these noodles are looking like. It smells good. I don't know if it smells like beef prime rib or not. Well, I think this is ready to go. Got a nice cup of ramen here. I guess let's go ahead and give these a try. Like, it doesn't smell like regular ramen noodles, like Maruchan ramen or whatever that everybody's had. These are going to be hot. Does it complement my roast beef wrap? It's good. It doesn't have a ton of flavor. Like, I feel like usually ramen like this in the in these things it's you know you can get that flavor whatever they're saying you get a pretty strong flavor of it it's not overwhelming whatever i don't know i can't say it tastes like prime rib you know beef broth yeah i don't know about prime rib i don't know next bite i'm kind of getting some of that prime rib Really like mellow, mellow flavor to it. It's not like a sharp, I don't know, if that's the best way to explain it. I don't know, maybe it does taste like prime rib. It's good. It's hot. I don't know, maybe that's prime rib. It's just not, like I, I can't put my finger on the taste of it. Maybe I should have had prime rib as a control for lunch today. Is this like soup and sandwiches? Huh? Let's see if there's anything else interesting to talk about. Of course, I can't play any of the music. I'll link some music down below. Associated Acts. Tupac, The Click, Be Legit, Too Short, T-Pain, Lil Jon, Droopy, Mac Mall, Richie Rich, g Easy, Snoop Dogg, The Dog Pound, Spice One, Yo Gotti, School Boy Q, Sally Cell. That's, what it's, that's all it's saying on here. I'd imagine it's probably more than that. 
he's still putting music out. He's still got an active YouTube channel. I'll link his YouTube channel down below. An OG in the game for sure. If I'm smart, I wait for it to cool off, but it's good. Well, this is how you do soup and sandwiches on a rainy day in the back of your truck. Soup and sandwiches. No, no, not soup and sandwiches. Ramen and wraps. Wrap ramen and wraps. I mean, that rhymes, right? Damn, we already smashed all of these. It was good. That was good. I'm going to be a weirdo and I drink all the juice. I don't know if everybody does that. Broth, noodle water, rum and rum. Usually you can get more of the flavor out of the juice, you know. You know, I want to say I'm trying to put a, like a finger on the flavor. I mean, maybe it's just prime rib and I haven't had it in so long. I don't know what it tastes like. I don't know. It's got a beefy, meaty flavor. It's good. Shout out to dude for getting put on ramen noodles. I mean, I think that's pretty rad, personally. Yeah, I'm weird. I'm probably going to keep this. I'm going to put that other one on the shelf. I'll probably keep this. I think it's neat. I'm a weirdo. Almost got it all. That was good. That's a satisfying supper for me. I'm going to stick it on the shelf with the other one. Won't have actually have ramen in it, but other than the video, it'll be another memory to have, you know? That's half of what these videos are. I can look back on them, realize how much of a goon I was. <laughs> but there we go, guys. This is really good. I'm still getting like a beef flavor. I just, I can't explain what it actually tastes like. My palate is not far enough advanced. That's probably why it's considered premium. You need to have a premium palate to explain what it tastes like, but it definitely tastes like some sort of beef. I haven't had prime rib in a long time. It's been a couple of years. So anyways, guys, if you have the opportunity to find some of these, I don't know where Mike got them. Somebody came into a shop. He owns a, a landscaping company. Somebody came in and gave them to him. And when he got them, uh, I believe it was a buddy of his. He asked for a couple more so he could give them to me because he knew that it would be pretty cool for you guys to see uh, because I had never heard of it. He had never heard of it. I think you can buy these on eBay. Uh, so anyways, check it out. If I find some, maybe I'll link some down below if I find them on eBay and you guys can buy one if you want to try one. So it's pretty cool. I don't know if they're making them anymore. The expiration date is uh, 2021. There's the rain again. Can you hear that? I'm sure you guys can probably hear that. I think it's supposed to rain on and off most of the night, and then in the morning it's a high percentage chance of rain again. Anyways, guys, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this movie. Like I said, I'm going to rewind this and watch that, and then I'm going to head to bed. And I guess we'll see what's going on in the morning, see if it's raining. I do have some fishing poles with me. We'll see if we actually get some fishing in this video. If not... Uh, maybe we'll find something cool to go look at. So anyways, guys, stay tuned, and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, y'all. Let me get some of these windows cracked open. Keep some light in here. Ugh. Open one of these up a little bit. Yeah, it basically uh -huh. rained all night, guys. But with the blanket and the sleeping bag, that was plenty warm. Plenty warm. It's 45 outside. Today a high is 48 degrees here and 100% chance of rain. You can hear that. 
Well, guys, I should probably think about getting out of bed, huh? Oh, man. Whoops. Yeah, I slept good last night here. The rain on the roof. Uh, it wasn't cold. Didn't have fans going. I don't have any windows open. Still a little bit of circulation from the tailgate cracks, etc. But it's supposed to rain all day, so I don't really know what to do. Uh, I think what we'll do is I'll probably get up here in a little bit and uh, we'll go for a little bit of a drive. I know another cool little uh, thing to look at. Uh, and this is something that I've been out there, it's been a while, but you can walk right up to it and you can check it out. I'll let you guys know where it's at. So I'm going to get my stuff together, probably drink my coffee and eat a honey bun and then maybe we'll get on the road, guys. I got my honey bun ate and been sipping on my coffee a little bit. I'm going to get out of here, change back into my jeans, which were really cold <laughs> and I'm spitting everywhere. I'm going to go ahead and start this turd with, with me sitting in the back here. It's going to be loud. Muffler dumps like right underneath me. I wouldn't sit back here with this running for very long. and die from the fumes, but... Yeah, see it drips right in right here and it's dripping in right there. That's kind of a shitty thing when it rains, but nothing really gets wet enough for me to be like concerned about it getting wet. It doesn't just sit there and drip all the time. It's only when you open the window. I think I got everything I need. Yeah, you can see where it dripped down at. Let's get this crap thrown in my truck quick. All right, guys. Well, truck's warmed up. I'm ready to go and get out of here. Uh, I've got a 50 mile drive to where I'm headed to, so it's not exactly close to this park, but close enough. And there's big puddles. Destination is on the left. Don't really know if I'm supposed to be pulling in here to park, but there wasn't any signs that said I could, and I'll just pull in right here. Probably just leave this old truck running while we're out there taking a look at this. Don't really need my sunglasses on, I guess. This is a time capsule. Uh, there's stuff buried underneath of this or inside of it. Let's see if we can find a sign on here. Here we go, there's a sign there. Thank <laughs> you. 
I know you guys probably won't be able to see that well, so I'll read it. Uh, this is the world's, it's billed as the world's largest time capsule and pyramid. Five feet beneath this pyramid is a time capsule dedicated in 1975. The pyramid was built in 1983. So they must have put something down there and put something on top of it. The object of the time capsule is to preserve and present for future generations. This is to be open July 4th, 2025. So in five years, contents of the time capsule, a new 1975 Chevrolet Vega with no mileage, a new Kawasaki motorcycle with no mileage, thousands of letters and other memorabilia furnished by merchants and residents not only from this area but from across the nation. Uh, the contents of the pyramid are a badly beaten up 1975 Toyota plus other memorabilia. So uh, the walls in both time capsule and pyramid have murals painted on them by local artists and this is from the clan Davison and this is that what that is? House of Davison? I don't know if that's like a thrift store. I don't know who the clan of Davison is. I'll have to look that up. So I guess there was a time capsule built. They put some stuff in it and then later they put this on top of it. Now it's got some cracks all around it. <clears throat> so who knows if it's actually still good stuff in there. And then what is this? So this says this is the site of the world's largest time capsule containing a 1975 Chevrolet Vega plus a multitude of memorabilia of the year 1975 uh, to be opened year 2025. Our aim to preserve and present for the future the Davison clan. And there's that must be the 75 Chevy Vega. And it's you know it's relieved in there. It's a nice sign. I don't know what this is about if that's like the Davison clan thing but it's pretty interesting just in the middle of uh, Seward Nebraska you've got this giant time capsule I'm gonna have to try to remember and I'm, I'm assuming since I live close to this area it's gonna be on the news when they finally open it up but it would be really cool to be here for when they do that but it's just a big white pyramid I don't know if I'm sure they've repainted it a couple times, but it's got cracks in it. Don't think there's anything else on it. Oh, that looks like there's a door here. You can see these big hooks here. Maybe that block was like lowered in and that's what they can use to pull it out. There's like a bench stack on top. So who knows, I'd be surprised if it stayed dried in there, stayed dry. But that's about it guys, it's cold and breezy, it's weird, it's weird isn't it? Uh, it's the things, the just random stuff you can find in your, in your area is surprising, like I know there's a lot of local people that would have no idea that's there. We're going to go ahead and hop back in the rig. so weird that this is just sitting right here and it looks I, I feel like this is somebody's personal property oh so this truck says Davison Furniture Center there's a building here that says House of Davison and there's a bunch of like old refrigerators and stuff looks like there's an old belly tank off of a jet and that's it so, well, they've got a leather sign out here that says Whirlpool Gold Ring Dealer. So they must do like furniture and appliance sales here. But I gotta find my way out of town, guys. So, anyways, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the adventure. Something a little different. Uh, the ramen was good, and the adventuring in the rain is is always fun. There's always something you can find to do out, even though if the weather's not great. Um, so anyways, guys, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll just leave it at that. So stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit.
Oh, 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 oh,